Okay, now this is Windows 8, uh, Windows RT. This is on the Surface tablet. And just wanted to demonstrate one of the probably more confusing things that's going to happen with the Surface. Is you have the Windows 8 interface, and with that, you also have go to the how do you get to the desktop? I, oh, I am on the desktop. No, how do you get like go down? Okay, you go over here, go get rid of that. Okay, so you have the Windows, what looks like the Windows operating system, the normal Windows operating system, and with that, you have like your version of Internet Explorer 10, which works like you would normally expect it on a uh, on a tablet on a on a Windows PC now what we're going to show is that there's actually a second version of Internet Explorer which is tablet optimized which you have this nice snazzy drop down menu um, you see this is the MSN site which looks pretty good on the surface and portrait mode but it it has actually been optimized for uh, Windows 8 and the Surface Tablet because um, it's like t.msn.com. Uh, but one of the, again, just showing off one of the more confusing aspects of it is that there are two versions of Internet Explorer. And as you see here, this is a desktop version. You don't get that nice, snazzy uh, drop down menu. The keyboard have. doesn't pop up for you. You have to, you have to tap on the keyboard keyboard button to get it to pop up. Um, and this is the same. So this is this version of this version of MSN is just like uh, this version of Internet Explorer is just like the one you would have on your desktop computer at home. Um, acts exactly the same way, um, but the two, the tablet version and the desktop version are not tied together, so that's one of the very distinguishing things that Microsoft is going to have to deal with as people um, will probably expect it to be connected. All right.